Hi everyone, this is Adam with Tour Buzz, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create your first virtual tour uh, using Tour Buzz. Um, so, at this point, you've probably gotten your credentials via email, so um, the first thing you'll need to do is just go to our website and log in using those credentials. Um, once you've logged in, um, you'll see, um, you know, fairly basic layout here, tours, customers, design, schedule, um, but we can go directly to create a new tour. You're not going to see these existing tours there. That should, that should be blank when you first log in. Um, so when you create a new tour, you can go ahead and type in the address. And there we go. Um, so you have to assign a, a tour to a customer. So if you have an existing customer, we already have one in there, um, you could select that and then go ahead and create the tour. Um, but you'll, since this is your first time, you'll need to create a new customer as well when you, when you sign in. Um, so we can go ahead and, and create one here. I'll just type in the information. Okay. Um, you can also add um, any assistants um, or admins that, that the realtor might have. You can add them right here or any notes as well in this box. Um, <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and type in the address. Now this, the address here is actually the address of their office. Um, so you can type that in. Um, and we also have a nice drag and drop here for the agent photo and uh, as well as their logo. So I have those files here. You can just pull those up and then drop them right on top of there. And there you go. Um, so this customer is ready, ready to be created. Just click create. <clears throat> And now you see uh, Jane Realtor there. That's the customer we just created. Um, so we're ready to go now. So let's we can go ahead and click Create Tour. Okay. So this next page is um, this is where you're actually going to to upload your images. We we we're going to drop you right in there. So um, the first thing you do is just click this button here. Um, and you can either click this green box um, and then select the files. Um, but I like to just do the drag and drop. It's a lot easier. Um, so I've got some files here. And you can just drag those over and drop them right in. And those will take just a sec to get those uploaded. <clears throat> okay. So uh, on this screen, you can, um, you can name the photos. Um, there's a couple of things you can do. You can, you can clear all the names out here. Um, you know, you can type in, we've got like a nice drop down, like an autofill feature here. Um, if you have multiple shots of the same room, you can just copy it like that. Um, we'll change that to um, front exterior, living room. Uh, most of these are going to pop up. We've got a pretty, um, pretty good uh, set in there. Um, this will be our kitchen. Um, so if there's something that doesn't show up, like this is a video of a stream, um, we'll just type that in. You can type in whatever you want. That's fine, too. And we'll go ahead and process. <clears throat> um, while we're waiting for this to process, we can go ahead and go back to the tour page um, and go to the info tab. And the info tab is where you can really customize the tour and... Um, and, and um, you'll have all the all the vital information here as well. <clears throat> um, as you can see, all the uh, the address information is already there. Um, you can select an MLS service here, MLS number. Um, you can type in a heading here uh, for the tour description box. This section here is the tour setup section. This is where you you can really customize the tour. Um, if you, uh, for instance, you can change the design here. Um, you can change the panning speed on panoramas, um, activate Ken Burns effect, a number of other things here too. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see client panel options. Client panel is just the, that's the customer facing um, login that your customers are going to are gonna see. That's where they go and download their photos. They can edit the tour. Um, you can control all of that from here. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and save those details. Um, so now our uh, images should be ready, and there they are. So if you don't like the order, you can just 
kind of rearrange these. You can drag and drop like that. Um, and that's a good order, so we'll, and that automatically saves there. Um, once you've uploaded images, you can, you can uh, actually, we have a flyer feature here that you can, so you can customize the images. There's some X's there because we don't have enough images to fill it up, but um, so you can, you can customize that here. Um, you can also select music for the tour. Um, so you, usually you'll be able to hear this. I've muted it, but you can hear um, the different tracks here. So you can select that one. This will play on top of the tour. Go ahead and save that. Um, from this tab, you can you can syndicate to Realtor.com here once the tour is published. Um, this is our, the links to the different types of tours, the, the branded, the unbranded. Um, so th that's another way to access that. Um, so if you want to go ahead and we can go ahead and take a look at what we have so far. And this is a, okay, so you, obviously this is still in preview mode, so you're going to see that across the top. Um, but you've got a, we've got nice smooth transitions here. Um, and you can see that this is these are the logos, the logo and the photo we dropped in are here, and along with the contact information, some external links um, that you can access here. Um, so we can go ahead and head back. Um, so if you're if you're happy with how the tours turned out and you're ready to to send it to to your client, then you can go over here and click publish tour, and that's going to generate an email. Their email is going to populate there. Um, and those links that we saw earlier, the branded, unbranded, simple layout, um, all that's going to be included in this email, along with a direct link to the client panel. We, uh, we mentioned that earlier, too, um, where they can go in and download the images, see the statistics, and, and all that good stuff. Um, so we can go ahead and send this email out directly from here, and now your client can access their tour. Um, so that's, uh, that's all we have for now, and um, thanks for listening, and, and hopefully you've created your first tour successfully.